हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर क्लास एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ एंडोमेट्रियोसिस सो जस्ट टू गिव यू अ क्विक प्री कैप व्हाट ऑल हैज बीन डन टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एच पी यू एक्सेस द इनफर्टिलिटी एंड इन फीमेल इनफर्टिलिटी वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मेन टॉपिक विच इज पी सी ओ एस एंड नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू अनदर कॉज ऑफ इनफर्टिलिटी एंड दैट इज एंडोमेट्रियोसिस नाउ वॉट इज एंडोमेट्रियोसिस how is it's a, it's a very very important topic again at least one mcq is as expected out of this topic and definitely uh, we get around one uh, mcq out of this topic in the entrance exams most of the times and of course for final year student it's a important topic uh, for the uh, long note short note you might get a clinical case but overall for neat pg as well as i ni ct a very very important topic and you should really know this topic very very well so now anybody what is the meaning of the endometriosis or what is the meaning of the word endometriosis so i tell all my students will come to the actual definition uh, in a minute i tell all my students that moment i say the word endometriosis the next word which should come to your mind is volcano are sir what are you teaching us volcano yes how volcano why volcano this volcano concept will help you understand the clinical features the volcano concept will help you understand the medical management also so endometriosis basically is ectopic endometrial tissue that means what do i mean is that all of you know if this is the uterus this is the uterus the lining which grows inside is called endometrium okay now this endometrium is at abnormal place and this endometrium in endometriosis is growing at places outside the uterus that means what am i saying is that this endometrium is here 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 everywhere it can go to various sites it is all outside the uterus is it clear to all of you so but the important word in the endometriosis is it's the functional endometrium it's a functional endometrium what do i mean by functional endometrium is that this endometriotic spots these are called as endometriotic spots or you call it as endometriotic lesions okay these are called as endometriotic spots or lesions so these endometriotic spots or lesions by functional i mean they are hormone sensitive hormone sensitive means that they will behave in the same manner as this endometrium is going to behave that means when this endometrium so what is endometriosis so it's the presence of functional endometrium at places outside the uterus in order of frequency anybody what is the most common site of endometriosis can you tell me so ovaries very important mcq ovarian endo it's called as ovarian endometriosis two names also called as endometrioma endometrioma or chocolate cyst of the ovary why do you call it chocolate cyst all that we'll discuss in some time okay so now what is happening in endometriosis let's say these are functional endometrium so these endometriotic spots or lesions are hormone sensitive and they will behave identical to the hormonal changes which happen inside the endometrium so all of you know that sir endometrium will grow 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 and during menses so basically what is happening in endometriosis is 25 days of the month everything is quiet 25 days of the month everything is okay but sir when this endometrium sheds off during menses when this endometrium bleeds and comes out during menses this all of you know at the same time so during this menses these endometriotic spots also erupt like a volcano this endometriotic spots will also erupt like that's why i told you to remember the word volcano and this endometriotic spots will erupt like a volcano so basically every month every month for 4 5 days of the month every month 
for four five days of the month in the pelvis is going to be bleeding this bleeding is going to cause severe dysmenorrhea and pain for the patient and this bleeding when it will resolve there's going to be all fibrosis and adhesion formation so why is the patient of endometriosis infertile there are various reasons we'll come to that in a minute but basically in the pelvis there's going to be bleeding everywhere and the bleeding is blood is irritant to the pelvis and when blood gets resolved there's going to be all fibrosis and adhesions so the tubes will get blocked and all the complications will happen we'll discuss that the anatomy will get distorted so it is also the this will lead to development of fibrosis bleeding so they will erupt the volcano will erupt there will be fibrosis and then there will be anatomical distortion what is the meaning of anatomical anatomical distortion that means that what will happen is so this is the ovary this is the fimbria now because of the adhesion ovary gets pulled here the fimbria gets pulled up here how will the fimbria pick up the egg not possible so what will happen is that sir because of all this fibrosis and adhesions the anatomical relationship between the tube and the ovary gets distorted and just to show you that sir normally normally if this is the fallopian tube and this is the ovary sir one adhesion will pull the tube here and another adhesion will pull the ovary here so sir the tube goes like this and the ovary goes like this you can see there is anatomical distortion we'll come to that in detail in some time okay so in order of frequency so one is ovary second most and third most pouch of douglas and uterosacral ligaments very very important so please pay attention okay presence of functional the important word is functional presence of functional endometrium at places other than the uterus that is called as ectopic endometrial tissue which i explained to you and most common site in order of frequency is number 1 ovaries ovary what develops is called ovarian endometriosis logic also called as endometrioma also called as chocolate cyst of the ovary now why is it called chocolate cyst can i eat that chocolate obviously no but what happens is at every month in the pelvis there is bleeding so similarly that ovarian endometriosis if this is the ovary if this is the ovary and there are and there is a endometriotic spot over here is endometriotic spot over here what is going to happen is going to bleed 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 okay and then this blood this blood after some time blood if you keep at one so basically there's going to be bleeding 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 it's a hemorrhagic cyst and this blood if you keep at one place that reddish will become brownish blackish in color giving rise to chocolate cyst so i can't eat that chocolate it's nothing but the altered blood that red has become brownish blackish we'll show that will figure also in some time so ovary is number 1 it's also called as very famous chocolate cyst of the ovary pod stands for pouch of douglas the second most common site and uterosacral ligament that's the third most common site okay so very very famous mcq is already on this side okay now why the endometrium tissue sir why does all this thing happen how does the endometrial tissue reach outside exact reason is not known it's a enigma okay that's why endometriosis in pg level we call it as enigmatic disease we do not know the exact reason there are various theories so what is one theory is that sir why does this endometrium go outside there are various theories for development of endometriosis please pay careful attention what is one of the theory is let's say this is the uterus cervix fallopian tube okay okay over here now at the time of menses the blood comes out blood should come out
one of the theories for endometriosis is the very famous popular which you are supposed to remember and they can ask you in the why why and mcq is the theory of retrograde menstruation theory of retrograde menstruation that is samson's theory i'll show you the spelling and the name in some time retrograde menstruation means it's sir the menstrual blood instead of coming out it also goes retrograde backward flow and this is causing the endometrium to reach year 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 so this is retrograde menstruation okay and that is the reason this endometrial spots can get implanted in the pouch of douglas utero sacral ligament inside the ovaries so this is the retrograde menstruation theory very very important or the other thing could be let's say there is a coelomic metaplasia let's say this coelomic epithelium converts itself into the menstrual endometrium or sir there could be a hematogenous spread of this endometrium there could be a lymphatic spread of this endometrium and getting implanted at various places outside and then even the direct deposition also during the lscs surgery when i am doing the lscs surgery directly if you are not careful sometimes it's a theory only proposed that the endometrium from inside may get implanted on the scar and all that so that's why you get cesarean section scar endometriosis rare site and episiotomy scar also it is the rare sites and then endometriosis is found to be in various places it is found in bladder pleura anywhere lungs so there are very rare sites of endometriosis okay so these three sites are the most common these three sites are the most common ovaries pouch of douglas utero sacral what are the rare sites scar endometriosis scar means with scar so scar of lscs surgery okay so the skin scar you're talking about the scar on the skin okay this is the patient's abdomen this is the pharyngeal incision which we have taken so inside the skin scar i'll take a blue because it's bigger so inside the scar of endometriosis which is on the skin and there, there is a endometriotic nodule or the episiotomy scar which we gave the episiotomy scar which you gave on the perineum there also scar and so this is less than scar in bladder urinary bladder okay these are rare sites scar bladder pleura lungs all these are the rare sites for endometriosis anywhere it can be they are the most common 